Hey, shalom. Back with another headline. Before I go any further, I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah HaKwadash. Stop honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, along with the bishops, once Aquanium, who rule and teach the Lamb as well. And salutations to the elect of Israel, Yasharala, the Baith Shadowada, which is the house of David. Starting with the governing body of the Lord, which is the 144,000 that servants, the prophets, and the rest of the remnant. Consisting of men, women, and children, believers. This is off the daily HODO. U.S. credit card debt soars to 1.14 trillion dollars as Bank of America CEO issues warning on depleting. American consumer and that's just it the, the, the reason you Babylonians are still doing what you're doing you know shopping going to the malls going out to eat going to get your fucking vapes and your coffees and your you know whatever, whatever it is you're doing you know you just, all you're doing is you're putting that on your uh, on your credit cards and kicking the ro uh, the can down the road so to speak but guess what that that uh, <laughs> that tab is going to come due soon all right because yeah there's still a lot of people spending money you know and a lot of it that they just don't have all right because the truth the truth is like the truth of the matter is all right is that american uh consumers are depleted all right Americans are holding more household debt than ever before as one of the biggest banks in the country warns of a weakening U.S. consumer. According to a report from the New York Fed, U.S. credit card debt just hit a record $1.14 trillion. All right. I mean, this country is awash in debt. You got all the, 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 the uh, well, you know, you got the national debt, which is around $35 trillion. Credit card debt, another 1.14 trillion. You got student loan debt. You got uh, mortgages. You know, you got uh, uh, all that debt. The uh, um, uh, all the unsecured liabilities. You know, and various other you know debts. This country is just indebted. All right, and it's all because the bankers, right? Those Edomites, those Amalekites. All right. Uh, are in rulership, man. Okay? And they live on usury. It's called usury in the Bible, but you're not, you know, if you go into the law, you know, you're not supposed to charge your brother usury. In other words, if, uh, it's like you, if I, uh, you know, if a brother calls and, hey, man, I, you know, I got this bill, my paycheck won't hit till, uh, Thursday, can you can you uh, loan me fifty bucks? Absolutely, brother, I got you. But now, if you don't pay me by Thursday, I'm gonna uh, start charging you interest. Nah, that's wicked, man. Again, that's what Esau does. All right, and it's crazy because these credit card companies and these banks they just print out credit cards and just <laughs> give these people these these exorbitant cr lines of credit, and so they're just making money, you know, out of thin air. Okay, it don't cost them anything to issue out that card. I remember being in college years ago, man. I'm talking about like the early 90s. And um, they would always prey on the college kids, man. You know, they'd sign, you'd sign up, and I signed up for one of them. I was stupid. And it was like an M NBA or MBNA card. They gave me a $600 um, credit line, which would, it would increase. But I ended up, you know paying it when i eventually paid it all off i paid them way over 600 bucks bunch of fucking devils man and who do they prey on the most man they they, they prey on the poor are right, you so-called so-called negroes latinos and native american indians the lord's chosen people and that would include also you speckled birds man are right, you israelite foreigners Um, on the whole, Americans have more student loan, mortgage, credit card, and home equity revolving debt right now than at any time in history. 
says the Fed. This is a quote from the Fed. Aggregate household debt balances increased by $109 billion in the second quarter of 2024, a 0.06% rise from first quarter of 2024. Balances now stand at $17.8 trillion and have increased by $3.7 trillion since the end of 2019, just before the scamdemic recession, which is not, this is not a recession. This is, a, this is a depression. By the numbers, if you're just go, looking at the data, all right, this, this is not a recession. This is a depression. Okay. The Fed also reports that delinquency transition rates for credit cards, auto loans, and mortgages increased slightly in the second quarter and that about 4.9% of consumers had a third-party collection account on their credit. Oh, by the way, this you know, I was mentioning the, mor the mortgage debt, right? This word mortgage, if you if you go to the etymology of the word, all right, it, it literally means death note. All right, so if you if you have a mortgage, you literally have a death note, man. All right, and it talks about in the scriptures. I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, hold on, I'm gonna have to look this up. Give me just a second. Yeah, it talks about you know. Um, well, I'm just gonna read it. This is the book of Sirach. Or Ecclesiastes chapter 21 and verse 8. He that buildeth his house with other men's money is like one that gathereth himself stones for the tomb of his burial. Okay? Yeah, man. So really mortgages are against the scriptures. Now, you know, are you going to be destroyed because you got a mortgage? No. All right, but it's not biblical, man. In the ancient world, you didn't do that. If you were a Jake, you know. But he talks about in the, in the curses, you know, having to go to the so-called white man who is Esau Edom in want of all things, all right? So being that this is his rulership, his kingdom, you know, you know, you got to do what you got to do, all right? But yeah, I mean, that's what the scripture talks about, you know, what, a, what the scripture says about a, a mortgage, all right? The death note, man. Um, let's see consumer back to the article consumers also appear to be experiencing a slowdown amid the higher debt load in a new interview with Fox Business Bank of America CEO John Moynihan says that the bank's consumer base is currently spending at half the rate they were last year a sign of a depleting consumer right and running up credit card debt man and again, the, the, the tab eventually comes due. All right. We well, ain't nothing but a bunch of debt slaves here in Babylon the Great. And you got these dumbass, you know, ninjas out here talking about, oh, we free now, we free now. No, you a debt slave, Jake. All right. Even, even these Edomites is debt slaves. Okay. You ain't free. Now, when you come into the truth, you're three. You, you, it's like you're three. You're free through the spirit. Like the sun makes you free. All right. In other words, he liberates your mind and, and, and he allows you to see the truth. And that's what makes you free. All right. But you're not free physically. You, well, the Bible talks about the scripture says in the Apocrypha that we subject to payment. You subject to payments, man. You got to pay taxes. You know, income tax. And all kinds of shit. Uh. You own property, you got to pay taxes on the property. See, that's fucked up, man. You got to pay taxes on shit that you own. That's some fucked up shit. You know? Income tax, property tax, you know, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? Tax to death here in Babylon the Great, man. This place is fucking hell. <laughs> hell ain't underground in, in a burning, you know, burning uh, place of burning and tor torment underground. Hell is the grave, right? Shot a wall in the Hebrew or a condition that plays out on earth. This this place is fucking hell, man. We need Yahweh to come back and destroy this damn place, man. You know? You Israelites got to repent, man. The scriptures talks about, you know, to, uh, rising up and departing, because 
for this is not your rest. Roughly paraphrasing Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. Anyway, that's all I got. Lord willing, use that if I through the Spirit. With that, I want to say Shalom, I'll miss on to the next video.